Come with me, and you'll see a world of my imagination. It's got trees and horses, but watch out for zombies. <laughs> what is going on, guys? The Willy Wonka intro like no other. I hope you had a great weekend. Welcome to the Monday episode of B-Builds. Today, we are going to be building a brand new building right in this vicinity. But first, we must show you the work that we did in the last episode, or between this one and last, uh, on the bridge. Look at it. It's about, you know, 40% done, or halfway, maybe 50, I don't know. I'll just throw it numbers. It's about 125% done. Let's go up and check it out. You'll also notice... Something else a little different about the ground. We installed Optifine thanks to a little comment down in the comment section of episode, I think it was 13, not even 14, I don't know. And uh, it looks good, and it runs a lot faster, so you can get a higher frame rate and uh, better resolution. So you guys are seeing this at 1920 by 1080. Oh, the HD, all the P's. <laughs> So I extended this up here uh, on the live stream that I'll be talking about soon. Uh, I got about, I don't know, I got about probably here and then it messed up. So I did this off camera. Look at the beautiful curve. There's some things I need to fix. But whatever, you know, you get to that, you get to that point where you've been playing Minecraft for so long. You're like, ah, we got to stop for a little bit. And it ends here and it'll, it'll go up there. But I'll, overall, I'm happy with the way it looks. It looks smexy. Uh, it is exactly what I wanted. The only thing I'm having issues with is lighting. So I'm going to probably put some uh, glowstone lamps off the side or maybe in the mountain. Uh, just so it illuminates the pathway and nothing spawns up here because they do. They like to spawn. I uh, actually uh, started just working on this and a skeleton jumped down and smashed me in my face. And that was rude. Rudy pood. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down there. Let's clear a little bit of the... A little bit of the the dirt and uh, I want to talk to you guys about the YouTube streaming so we streamed on Saturday and it was fantastic oh my gosh all the people that came out we st we stayed about we stayed at about 20 people watching the live stream and you guys were so amazing the you know there were a few trolls they came out but that's okay we dealt with those guys like no other smashing faces and uh, yeah, I was so happy with the way you guys uh, held it together and uh, came out and en just enjoyed the live stream because I enjoyed it and uh, it just made me want to live stream more. I've, I've told Ms. B I need to live stream. Where the heck are you coming from? Get away! I don't... I hear you, but I can't see you. Down here, maybe? I don't know. There's my mind, too. We'll make something out of that. Um, but yeah, I told Ms. B... Miss B, I want to, I want to, oh, hit my ring. Miss B, I want to stream. Uh, and she was like, oh, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, well, too bad. The people like it. No, and she's, she's very supportive. So <laughs> we'll probably be streaming uh, a little bit more this week, guys. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel. We're not streaming on Twitch any longer because YouTube's makes it so much easier for me to talk to you and you to talk to me. And it's all in one place, right? It's so much easier. You guys that came out, you guys can uh, a testimony, test it, test to what it, comment to it, <laughs> that it was so much easier. Um, just because I don't have to, g to tell you guys, hey, guess what? We're at, we're at Twitch. And uh, that, stuff's, pff, that stuff's boring. You have to go to different websites. Uh, the stream held up well uh, in terms of lag and latency and delay. And I mean, we're coming from... We're coming from Twitch, so any kind of delay is uh, acceptable. <laughs> Where's the chicken? Is there a chicken up here? I hear a chicken. Oh well, whatever. This is gonna be a pretty big building. I need it to be. I need it to be fairly big. So I'm gonna go and continue working on this dirt, guys. I'll bring you back, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about talk about the new Terminator idea that I have. So I'll see you guys in a second. And the building starts rising. <laughs> okay, guys, I got this nice and flat. I found a grotto, which is nice. Maybe we'll incorporate it into the build. And uh, I'm using these spruce. I found some spruce all the way out yonder, past the desert. And I also found this thing. You see that little nugget? Yeah, we'll explore that eventually. That is a, a I think it's a zombie or is a spawner. Something keeps falling out of there. 
Um, there is a cage and some fire. So it is a spawner. I just don't know which one it is. It's probably a zombie one, uh, which is a nice little find for us because hopefully we can get a name tag. Mm -hmm. Name tags be the things we need. Uh, oh, go three. Let's make it even. Okay. This is my entrance, and then we're going to go into a room. Um, and it might get me. It should, maybe it should go a little bit bigger. Maybe that should go out here. Maybe. But uh, with with that said, guys, uh, obviously, you know, there's a new Terminator movie out. And apparently, from what I hear on the internet, uh, the company the company that uh, cut together the trailer kind of spoiled it uh, and did like a mega reveal that the director was not too happy about. So I want to talk about Terminator because it's in, it's in the public eye right now. It's like, hey, you know, Arnold's getting older. Uh, the franchise is really old now. Um, and you know, it's, you know, they keep, it's kind of like Jurassic Park. You can't keep doing the same thing, uh, or it's going to get old and it's not going to be good. And you know what, you know, Arnold's getting, he's getting up there. He can't be in every single movie, um, from now on because, you know, eventually he's going to have to have a walker and a cane and his biceps are sagging. So we're going we're gonna to talk about my reboot of the franchise. And I want your opinions, guys. So leave them down in the comments. I'm thinking. Okay, here we go. So we know the story. John Connor, savior of humanity, born to this lady. <laughs> and the Skynet sends a Terminator back to hunt him, right? To kill him as a kid. And basically, the timeline has been so, so done and messed up and just convoluted it really makes no sense whatsoever anymore and uh well guess what it's time for b to come in tell you guys where it's at and let's let's redo let's let's start a new terminator let's let's have some fun with it this is a franchise that really doesn't have um doesn't have to continue on the legacy of john connor it could do something so much better and I know there's going to be a few of you who are like, nah, you can't take John Connor out of the movie. He is Terminator. Well, no, he's not. No, he isn't. You go to see a Terminator movie for the actual Terminators, the T-101 or the T-1000. You don't go to see John Connor and his sob story about how he's the chosen one and his mom's, you know, had to fight the Terminator in the first movie and blah, blah, blah. And the timeline just gets so messed up. It's time. It is time to reboot that franchise. And here's here's how I do it. Okay? Think. Uh, modern day. So, uh, 2000 and... What is the year? 15. Oh my gosh. Cover up the Corona. 2015. Okay? We have Skynet, who is, you know, in the future. But they start... They start sending people back into this day. Because, you know, it's a, and we're not going to do L.A. because L.A. has been done. So it's a brand new setting. It's spaced in the east, on the East Coast, New York, uh, Toronto, anywhere uh, other than L.A. and the West Coast. Because, man, it needs to, it, we need to change, right? So there we go. Okay, we got the setting. So it's, let's just say it's New York. And then we have The Rock. Yes, we have The Rock in the movie. He is a Terminator. He's as big as Arnold was in the original movie. Oh my gosh, it will look so awesome. And we go and we get somebody totally different to to be the savior. So the dude, you know the guy that played Khan in the Star Trek movies? Yes, get him. He was so good. Or he could be the bad guy. And The Rock could be the good Terminator. And we could have, I don't know. Who could play the Who could play the John Connor character? Um, well, let's just say uh, Macaulay Culkin comes back. He's drug free, and he's like, ah, yeah. Instead of Home Alone, he wants to be the savior of all of the things. Or you know, even even Shia LaBeouf. Why not? He's he's a mega star right now. He knows what he's doing. Uh, that's, another, that's a totally other topic uh, for, for another B builds. But he is. He's in the news. He knows what he's doing. He looks like a robot. So why not Shia LaBeouf? Just do it. Just, <laughs> just, just do it, John. So we could do that. That would re-energize the franchise. Uh, shoot. I need more wood. 
and uh, we'd have a brand new Terminator for 2015, 2016, 17, and so long. And, you know, Arnold could be like a digital app in the movie. It'll be just the Arnold face. Hello, everybody. They send me back in time on the phone because I can't get destroyed. And he's like, he is Skynet at this point. <laughs> and it's so freaking awesome. So let me know in the comment section, guys, if you agree with me on rebooting Terminator. It doesn't have to have The Rock in it. I just think he should because he's he's basically as big as Arnold was uh, in the first or first couple movies. And I, th I, ju I just think the con guy is so evil or the actor that plays him. He could do a freaking awesome T-1000 and, and, and we would actually have a relevant Terminator movie because it's just been garbage after turning garbage <laughs> every single terminator after two it really has three was absolutely garbage it was brutal to watch that had the the, the awesome female terminator which they didn't expand on and then uh they had salvation and then now they have genesis ah, i just garbage throw up in my mouth <laughs> so guys i'll go cut down this tree go to sleep and then uh we'll we'll continue on in this build is there anything more satisfying in Minecraft than chopping down a giant freaking tree? No, there isn't, guys. <laughs> it is so satisfying to get up one of those spruce trees. Just climb the side of it and get up on top and just whack it with an axe. It's so good. Um, I got it down. We should have enough to complete what I'm doing here. This is this is called be working the magic. No, this is this is going to look look okay, guys. Trust me. I'm going to finish this project, and it's going to look real nice. Uh, so I got a comment last episode. Remember, guys, if you want your comments read on in the video or on the video, on the video, in the video, uh, make sure you leave uh, a comment down below with your name. You know what? Even if you go, hey, B, um, uh, I got some questions about YouTube. Go ahead. I'll shoot for it. The more, the merrier. Uh, and then that way I can actually go ahead and have a pretty good conversation with you guys and keep it keep this series two-way uh so we got a question from oh man i'm gonna mess up your name Ch Ch chasey macy lemon squacy i think that's that <laughs> that is it <laughs> if i didn't say it correctly i apologize uh it, he asks or she asks in your lifetime do you think humans will have fully explore uh, explored the ocean and if yes do you think we'll find some something scarier than giant squids uh, floating on the surface before? So apparently there have been floating squids on the surface before. I think we've seen those things in like the news or Gawker or whatever. Um, do I think we're going to fully explore the ocean in my lifetime? Or uh, no, probably not. The, come on, man. The ocean's boring. No one cares about the ocean. Have you... Hold on. Let's get real. Do you know how hard it is for just to send a, uh, a spacecraft to Pluto? People are like, oh, why did I make that? <laughs> why did I make that? I needed something else, like uh, an act. No, what did I need? What did I, hold on. What were they doing? Oh, I had one. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I made another one. People suck. <laughs> and they don't want to... They don't want... The public sucks, not people. The, pe the general public sucks, not you or me. Uh, but they don't want they don't want space travel. They don't want exploring the oceans. So sadly, no, we will not be exploring the oceans in my lifetime, or at least have them all mapped out because it is like ninety. What is it? Ninety percent? No, eighty percent? Some crazy number of the planet that hasn't been explored. We live on the freaking thing. Um, we know more about our solar system. Uh, than we do at the, than the bottom of the oceans. True, no truer words have been said by a man named B. <laughs> so, unfortunately, no. Do you, okay, so hypothetically, though, if we did, do I think there'd be something scary, scarier than giant squids? Yes, man. There are megalodons down there. There are shrimp people. <laughs> there are probably squidworths living down there's probably a squirrel in a spacesuit down there i don't know it's something i'm hoping there's something so gnarly and so nasty looking 
that we see it and we're like, oh, we gotta burn that. <laughs> we gotta burn it under the water. Um, and that's what I hope uh, for for me and for us as humans. Maybe there's a, a army of dolphins waiting to like take over the planet. They're just they've just been amassing an army, um, and they're waiting for the perfect time to strike. No, that didn't look good. Does it? Nah, it doesn't look good. We'll put a full block in. Um, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping, man. If you guys think it'd be cool to explore the oceans or think we're going to, leave some comments down in the comment section. And what do you guys think we would find down there? Squid people? An army of dolphins? Maybe an army of shark people? <gasps> That'd be kind of freaky. That'd be kind of freaky. The shark people are coming <laughs> with the lasers. <laughs> really hope not. That would suck. Actually, you know, it'd be kind of cool. I would totally go up and get into, like, the army if there was sh a giant army of shark people coming for us. I'd fight them. <laughs> Great question. Thank you for it. Uh, because that one was uh, kind of short, uh, we'll actually, we'll do another one. Deep had asked if there was any books that I have or want to read or stuff like that. Um, hmm. No, I really, I have two Mass Effect books that I've been dying to get into. Um, I have them from the launch of Mass Effect, and I just haven't had the time, nor the, I don't know what it is. It's just, be and reading. I, I'm a, I, my hobbies are gaming and stuff, um, though I do, I want to finish those two books. I think it's Ascension and something else. Uh, because I think it's a really cool series. I love the universe. Great question, Deep. If you guys want your comments read in the video, make sure you leave them down below. I'm going to continue working on the build. Eh, that doesn't look too bad down there. Look at it. It's a little different from the other buildings, but it is going to serve a different purpose, and that of which I'm not going to tell you right now. Guys, I ain't going to tell you. Shoot, don't ask. Uh, no, I got something planned for this one. Uh, but I think it turned out fairly well. It's more rounded. It's got some nice little architecture on the inside. There's a few things that I got to fix up just so it's a little bit more, you know, uh, symmetrical. Um, like these ones got to come in instead of out and, and things like that. But that that's, you know, fine details. And we'll actually do this right now. So, guys, uh, not this week coming up, the one you're watching this. But the week after, I am actually going away for a vacation with Miss B. We're take, the family is all going to uh, a fishing uh, lodge uh, up north here in uh, Ontario, and it is going to be fantastic. We've actually been there before, and we're taking Callie for the first time, so she's, I'm sure, going to love it. Why wouldn't she, right? She's a dog. Um, uh, but we're going we're gonna to go with the family. Hopefully have some fun, catch some fish, uh, just share in some, some family time because that's always needed, guys. Uh, make sure you spend time with your family. Don't, don't, don't let it pass you by because it definitely, time flies when you're having the fun. <laughs> uh, but seriously, yeah, we're going to be renting boats. Uh, we're going to be fishing um, and it should be a good time. We're going for a week, uh, which is going to recharge my batteries uh, sorely needed after, after the school year. And uh, it should it should be fun. I mean, we've we kind of haven't gone on a honeymoon, uh, so this is kind of like our mini vacation before a honeymoon. Um, hopefully, going in the next year or so, uh, planning something to go out out west, out to uh, to beautiful BC. Uh, cause she's never been there. I've never been there. I've been out east. Um, but I definitely want to see it west before you know. That's part of my bucket list. Before <laughs> before I go, I want to see it west. I've seen Edmonton, but that's all flat, and uh, I, I want to see I want to see something a little bit more uh, spectacular uh, when it comes to terrain and stuff. So uh, BC is my my go to place, but I'm really looking forward to fishing. I love fishing. I love just getting in the boat and just sitting on the lake, even if I don't catch anything. I think it's one of the most relaxing um, and uh, fun things you could do. I'm I'm, I'm planning on eating what I catch. And not just like tossing it in the boat and letting it rot. But um, uh, so those thinking, the like, hey, be you know you, the fish and stuff. Well, you know what I, you know, this is how humans have kind of have, have have lived for thousands of years. So don't judge me. I want to eat fish <laughs> and good fish too.
Mm, yummy. So that looking forward to that. I'm going to mass record a bunch of stuff, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the question section in the next B builds uh, just because of uh, when it needs to be recorded and when we're leaving. Hiya! Die, stupid. Um, but yeah, that will be this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the build. We got majority of it done. I just need to do interior work and a little fine detail door stuff. But definitely looks super B. Guys, take it easy. Hope you have a safe and great week. Have some fun. Bye-bye.